Welcome to Shara Media's Founder Stories, where we explore the inspiring journeys of visionary founders. Steve Jobs, co-founder of Apple Inc. Steve Jobs, a name synonymous with innovation, creativity, and an unmatched vision that transformed the world of technology. Born on February 24, 1955, in San Francisco, California, Steve Jobs co-founded Apple Inc., a company that forever changed the way we experience technology. Adopted at birth, Jobs grew up in Mountain View, California. From an early age, he had a keen interest in electronics and mechanics, often spending time in his father's garage tinkering with gadgets. His love for innovation would lay the foundation for his future success. In 1976, Jobs teamed up with his friend and engineering genius, Steve Wozniak, to create the first Apple computer. Together, they built the Apple One in Jobs' parents' garage, marking the birth of Apple Inc. Their vision was simple, to create a personal computer that was accessible, easy to use, and could bring technology into the hands of the masses. Though the Apple I was a modest success, it was the Apple II, launched in 1977, that truly revolutionized the computer industry. Apple II became one of the first successful mass-produced microcomputers, solidifying Apple's place as a major player in the growing tech space. But Steve Jobs wasn't just about computers. He was about innovation and design, always thinking about the bigger picture. In 1984, Jobs introduced the Macintosh, a computer that brought a graphical user interface to the mainstream. With its famous 1984 Super Bowl ad, the Macintosh was positioned as a revolutionary device that would break the mold. Despite his success, Jobs faced challenges at Apple. Internal conflicts with the board led to his resignation from the company he co-founded in 1985. But for Jobs, this wasn't the end, it was just a new beginning. After leaving Apple, Jobs went on to found Next, a company that developed high-end computers for the education and business markets. During this time, he also purchased Pixar, which would later become one of the most successful animation studios in the world. Pixar's first movie, Toy Story, was a global sensation and solidified Jobs' status as a visionary not just in technology, but in entertainment as well. By 1997, Apple was struggling financially, and the company decided to bring Jobs back. His return marked the beginning of a new era for Apple. With products like the iMac, Jobs revived the brand, and Apple once again became a symbol of innovation and creativity. But the real revolution was yet to come. In 2001, Jobs introduced the iPod, a product that transformed the music industry forever. And then, in 2007, came the iPhone, a device that would change the way people communicate, work, and live their lives. Later, the iPad followed, adding to Apple's lineup of groundbreaking products. Jobs' genius wasn't just in his ability to innovate, it was in his ability to envision a world where technology was seamlessly integrated into everyday life. He believed that technology should be intuitive, beautiful, and, above all, human. One of his most famous quotes from his 2005 Stanford commencement speech was, Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. His philosophy of living with purpose and pursuing passion resonated with millions around the world. Steve Jobs passed away in 2011 after a long battle with pancreatic cancer, but his legacy lives on. His life was a testament to the power of innovation, risk-taking, and the belief that anything is possible if you have the courage to pursue it. Today, Apple remains one of the most valuable companies in the world, thanks to the vision of one man who dared to think differently. Steve Jobs didn't just change the tech world, he changed the world itself. Stay tuned for more inspiring founder stories in our upcoming videos.